What's up, fight fans? Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam, man? What up to everybody in main man, main man's boxing form over there on Facebook, man? So, the thing is this, man. I'm sitting here thinking about Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford. First off, let me just say, I am positive. I'm glad where we are at. We have heard nothing but good news as far as Crawford and Porter is concerned. I am glad to be in going in a positive direction for a fight that can perhaps take over the welterweight division. You know what I'm saying? Because once this fight becomes official, it's an exciting fight to think about and talk about. So I'm sure that a lot of boxing fans are looking forward to this. So we are going to remain positive about this. You know what I'm saying? We all uh, got a lot of respect for Showtime Sean Porter. And I'm glad that Sean Porter chose to go this route and go after his destiny. You know what I'm saying? Because he's at a major crossroads. And trust and believe, you know, if there's any news or headlines that come out that say that Sean Porter is pulling out of this purse bid for whatever kind of reason, he is going to get roasted like a sunfly seed. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to be able to be the one to say, you know, boxing fans, they should chill out. Boxing fans got a mind of their own. If they feel like they want to roast Sean Porter, if he pulls out of this purse bid, who are we? And me, as a boxing fan myself, who would not like that type of decision, who am I to say anything to the boxing fans? So I would totally understand that particular outrage, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is this, fight fans. Sean Porter is at a very monumental point, I believe, in his career. You know what I mean? And I believe that, like, win or lose, there's no gray area with Porter. It's like, it's going to be real interesting. A loss to Terrence Crawford would have Sean Porter perhaps at the dinner table with just him and his spouse, with no one else around, pondering things. And just pondering things, you know, far as should he or, not, should he or shouldn't he. You know, he's going to be pondering that, that question because Sean Porter's resume is so damn good is that he's fought everybody. He's fought Thurman. He's fought Earl. He's fought Danny, Right? He fought everybody, he fought Ugas, didn't get Manny. But Sean Porter has the best resume at 147 pounds. This is why ca casuals love Sean Porter. I'm, I'm, I'm almost shocked when people say that he cannot feel a family dinner. I'm shocked to hear that because casual fans know who Sean Porter is. Why no one's buying into his fights? I don't know, maybe they smudging the numbers. Maybe Porter's numbers are better than what they letting out. I don't know. Because people know Sean Porter because of his fighting style. Win, lose, or draw. Whether it makes you mad what you see because of, of lack of fundamentals and this, that, and the third. Or if it makes you excited at what you see because he brings so much action. Either way, people like Sean Porter. I know casual fans have told me how much they adore Sean Porter. He's one of their favorite fighters. People don't know much about the sport, perhaps. perhaps. So it's, it's always funny when people knock on that. I never understood that. But... The thing is, he's forced over everybody at the welterweight division. So it's like, damn, if he loses, like, where are you going to go? Now, PBC got names for him, sure. And I'm sure, you know, but people got things to do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe him and Ugas can run it back, but Ugas is trying to capitalize off his belt. He ain't going to want to fight messing around with Porter right now. I mean, Earl Earl got things to do. You know what I'm saying? Keith, keep going to look at Sean like, okay, what am I fighting you again for? I beat you already. You got no belt. You just lost. Why? It ain't going to make six to Keith. And Porter is, is a hard task for anybody. So are they going to really want to take the risk with Porter, especially if they've already beat him? You dig? So it's like, shoot, man, he lose. What else? He going to be like to, on the mid-tier? And that's what's going to have him and his spouse at the dinner table over the meatloaf trying to figure out what is the next move. I don't want to see, I mean, Sean Porter on the mid-tier, but hey, it's, you know, if there's checks left on the table, there's checks left on the table. That's what it's all going to come down to, I'm sure. Like, if you know anybody trying to walk away with checks left on the table, but then again, he might say, hey, I'm going to go off and I'm going to do the Porter Way podcast, and he's going to do the commentating thing, which he's very, very good at, and or maybe he invests into a line of suits. Maybe he starts the Porter suits. If he does that already, why hasn't Sean Porter... Starting those suits. He should have been been put some suits like a suit line out there. He can make his favorite color. It could be like porter purple. He can have like a lima bean green, the banana yellow thing going. You know how he be doing? You know, Sean Porter vicious with the suits. I mean vicious with the suits. So 
once again, fight fans, I got a, I got a lot of respect for uh, 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 for Showtime Sean Porter, man. And, and it's just interesting where he'll be at in his career in the crossroads he'll be dealing with. And now, take your mind, that's just on the law side. So if he win, Sean Porter whole career, I mean whole career, is revitalized fight fans. Totally revive. It's gonna be like walking into a new place and you got all new furniture. You've been living in a one place for the last, I don't know, 10 years. You now you got a whole fresh spot, fresh furniture in that thing, and you just like, damn, it's like a fresh start. That's what Sean Porter gonna have. That's what comes with beating a Terrence Crawford. You get the pound for pound thing, because a lot of fight uh, fight fans perceive him as the number one pound for pound fighter. So you your pound for pound ranking gonna automatically change. Then you'll become a world champion. You got more bargaining power now. You can step to any of them dudes like Slim. I got a belt. Y'all ain't got belts, because Earl got two belts. Ugas got a belt, and I got a belt. Y'all ain't got belts. I need more money if I give any of y'all an opportunity. That's the position that Porter can be in, which is the position that he's not in right now all day and this is what i'm talking about so it's like damn dog if he beats bud all of that accolade all of that reward all that treasure all that boxing treasure you know what i'm saying shit this is why i'm like dog why none of y'all ain't never jump at the opportunity lord knows some of y'all can use y'all your career can use an adrenaline shot you know what i'm saying or or, or a shock to the chest bow and they could have went out the, but they didn't. They 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 wanted to price themselves out. They all wanted the most money that they've ever seen in their careers. I got Keith Thurman asking Bud for ten. Yeah, he asked Pacquiao for eight. I got Pacquiao asking Bud for forty, which he's asked of no other welterweight. That's funny, fight fans. That's funny, and they could have all gotten so many things from defeating Terrence Crawford, but they chose not to do it. So that's why I got respect for this man. Yeah, y'all can say, yeah, he was at the end of his career, man, man. And the only reason that he made this decision because he probably stopped and looked around and seen that there was nothing better on the table because wasn't nobody else really trying to give him an opportunity. You could think that way. Whatever. The fact is the fight is on the table and we're going towards a purse bid. And if we get the fight official, it's going to take over everything in, at the World to weight division. It's going to be the hottest fight in the division. Without a doubt. Red high. I think it does pretty good. Everybody, can, you know, I know, I think the box, bo this would, this would be something that boxing fans, because style-wise, how interesting it is, this would be something that boxing fans will really look forward to, especially the anti-bug crew. Oh, y'all showing up. Y'all gonna be like the definition of what Floyd and Muhammad Ali love to see. That's what the Terrence Crawford, anti-Crawford crowd, when they, because they gonna be tuned in before everybody. They gonna be, they, they gonna, they gonna have the TV on before any and everybody set and ready to go. <laughs> Like, damn, I ain't even, I missed a uh, couple undercard, but the anti-crowd will be like, yeah, well, they caught everything. They caught every cut, cut screen of Crawford. You know, uh-huh, something going on with his gloves. Crawford's gloves, you better watch Crawford's gloves. Everybody watch Crawford's gloves. It's going to be something. So everyone, I think I think this does all right, man. I think people going to tune into this. It, even if, because people would love to come back over here to come holler at main man, main man, and say, main man, what the hell happened to Bud? I can't wait. I'm going to see y'all in a post-fight vi video all day. Y'all already know. I'm going to be right here. Yes, sir. So, it's going to be interesting, man. Now, so, this is going to be a good fight we all looking forward to. Don't forget, fight fans, that the purse bid is going down September 2nd, man. They're supposed to be streaming it live uh, on their uh, Facebook uh, Facebook page or whatever the case may be so I, whatever is that i'm gonna watch it i never covered the purse bid and i'm looking forward to this one you know i'm dying to see who wins the purse bid um which side pulls it out who gets involved um who makes the attempt you know and how high it goes all of these are going to be good things to know because uh, we do want both of these fighters well respected at the end of the day we know there's going to be a 60 40 split of whatever the total purse bid comes up to and um, yeah, and hopefully if they put it on pay-per-view, these fighters also get some pay-per-view back in money as well. You see, so I'm looking forward to it. Of course, what Terrence Crawford get, you know what I'm saying? What would Terrence Crawford get, fight fans? Here's the deal. We all know with a loss, it's going to be fire and brimstone. Let me just say that real quick. You know what I'm saying? If Terrence Crawford loses a uh, Sean Porter, it's going to be dooms, doomsday. It's going to be like fire and brimstone. It's going to be over with. It's going to be, oh my goodness, I'm going to be here fighting the fight. And I'm just going to leave it at that.
You know what I'm saying? But if he wins, the question is, will Crawford get credit? Will they give Crawford credit? They never gave him credit for Brooke. Will they give Crawford credit? Even though Brooke was coming off three solid wins at a higher weight class, looking in the, the, the tip-top best shape, longest training camp, best training camp, covered several countries and different trainers, the whole nine yards. And Brooke still, you know, after he got, you know, ended early, of course, Bud got no credit. They didn't give no credit to Crawford. So will Crawford get credit? That's the golden question. Eh, who knows? Doubt it. Who knows? But I doubt. I oh, mean, man, you know, Sean Porter, you know, he didn't look good against Formella or something like that. It'd be something. I doubt if he gets credit. But if he wins, he should solidify in all of the anti and the doubters' minds that, hey, this dude is who he say he is. We can't question no resume no more. The argument is off the table uh, because everyone knows who Sean Porter is. And everyone's at this point giving Sean Porter full credit and loving what he's done in his career and the whole nine yards, two-time champion, everything. I don't want to hear nothing about the Ugas fight or Famella fights or what, what, what was vulnerable shown in those fights. Don't want to hear none of that. This is Showtime Sean Porter, and he always comes to fight. So Crawford should get full, full credit. Looking forward to this fight, fight fans. Going to be interested. But Sean Porter is at a very... But even if Terrence Crawford loses, right? I think his career still can go on. There'll still be a lot of other sharks who would love to still feast on Terrence Crawford's name. Sean Porter, I don't know. It may be so. To, to a certain degree. I know the young boys, they love to feast on either one. Trust and believe. They just want the name. I don't know about Virgil. Virgil had the opportunity, but Virgil didn't take it. That's interesting. He's been number one before. He did. They dropped him, and then he's number one again, and he never still put the paperwork in on either either, either route. Even when Sean Porter was kind of stalling, we still heard nothing from Virgil Ortiz. But it's interesting fight, fans. But, yeah, I catch up with y'all real soon, man, on a live stream, man. Y'all already know, man. Much love to the fam, man. Hit that thumbs up, man, on the way out. If you did not hit it on the way in, don't forget to share, 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 and rock those bells. Rock with the homie, man, man, mate, man. See y'all real soon on the live stream. We'll talk more about this, champs. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure y'all got a whole lot to say. To the next video. Peace out.